Did you get the news? 1,000 subscribers. Let's cheers to that. Hello, my lovely people. This is Tanya, and welcome back to Tea Wits TV. Where today I'm here with a brand new series on our channel called The Tea Talks, where we come together to discuss all the random topics in the world over a cup of tea. Uh, before we get into that, what am I drinking today? It's the chamomile tea, my always favorite simple drink. Because we are all stuck in this weird phase of the world right now, I guess it's very easy to guess what is going to be the topic for today's video. Yes. It's none other than the coronavirus. Now, I'm not here to give you any advice because I'm not an expert, because I'm not the doctor, I'm not the scientist, not even the government official. But what I am definitely is a good citizen of the world. That's why from past almost three weeks and uh, starting with the fourth one from tomorrow, I am at home. Now, that doesn't mean that I have been at home from past three weeks consecutively. I did go out once or twice to get the groceries and for the supply run. Now, you could say I'm stuck at home from past three weeks. Although I'm not, I love staying at home. I'm an introvert and I appreciate when I have my own space. I just wanted to drop today to just say hi, to say, to know how are you doing. And I hope that you guys are keeping safe. It's very important that we guys are staying at home. I know it's it's all over the place and I know it's a bit annoying at this point right now, but I hope you are staying at home. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're taking care of your family and the rest of the people in the world. And I hope that you understand the seriousness of this issue now, because I do remember there were a lot of people coming back saying, oh, this is just a flu. Uh, well, I would like to break it to you. I have spent 26 years on this earth and I've never seen a flu make the entire world shut down. I think these people need to get a little bit serious but on the other hand I see a lot of people who are panicking for no reason why. Like if you are at home, if you are maintaining your hygiene, if you're washing your hands, if you have to go out for any any urgency like I had to go for grocery shopping and you're sanitizing things you're gonna be fine. There has to be a lot of balance. And of course, then there are people who are getting too bored when they are inside the house, which is, I mean, we kept on complaining that we don't have time to talk to people. We don't have time to fulfill our hobbies. We don't have time to start a YouTube vlog. And now that we have time, we don't want to do it because we're bored. I'm pretty sure if there's an actual extraterrestrial alien looking at us right now, I know what he'll say. Humans. So we are all humans and I know that we are going through these different phases right now. There are 21 day lockdown in my home, to home country which is expected to be increasing. There's a, a lot serious lockdown here in Ireland as well now. And I know it's difficult for people to go out to get life as it was. I had a lot of summer holiday plans, which I have to cancel now. And if you can see from my attire, it's already summer. So I'm annoyed, like, trust me. The summer is the only season I wait for in the entire year and I can't enjoy it. But we are not here to talk about all the negatives. We are here to talk about the positives as well. I see a lot of people are not even looking at the positive end of it. You need to know that you, out of all the people, get to stay at home. You don't have anything to lose because you are staying at home. The only thing you're losing is your time scrolling on that phone and binge watching Netflix. Like, if that's the kind of your life, well, yeah, good, go for it. But if that's not, and you always wanted to do something, you you wanted to develop a skill, you wanted to learn some language, you wanted to... Uh, I'm back to guitar, so... And if you don't want to do it, then that's fine. But when everything is normal and we're back to our normal lives, don't cry then. Don't say that you don't have time. Because you did have a lot of time. But you didn't want to use it. 
this is your time. This is the time when the earth is trying to reset itself and trying to come back to normal. And I think that while the, the planet is doing it, you should also try to do it. So the only point of me making this video today is that, and, and I know it would sound a lot um, spiritual of me, but we need to go and reach to a point where we start to appreciate the things that we have in our lives to be grateful for what we have in our lives. Uh, there was a time, and I'm pretty sure before before the coronavirus world happened, we all were finding faults in the world we were living in. But now, when you compare the world we were living in and the world we are living now, I think we all will appreciate the past. So rather than appreciating the past, why don't we appreciate the now, the moment that we are living in? Why don't we appreciate the fact that we get to stay at home, we get to stay safe, we get to stay connected with our friends, maybe on the call, maybe if you're living with them, or, or anything. Why do we always have to lose something to appreciate it? Why can't we appreciate it then and there, like right now? And that's the exact situation happening to people who cannot find something to do at home. You are at home, you have all the time of the world but you don't want to appreciate it because you're feeling bored and i know it's it's very difficult to find gratitude at this position if you 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 are someone and i i hope that you're not but if you're someone who's lost someone it's it's very difficult for you to find gratitude at this position if you've lost some loved one in this entire crisis or you might lost your job or you're facing some other uh, challenging, could be financial, could be um, emotional challenges, anything. I think I know it's very difficult to understand the gratitude and to appreciate whatever is happening to you right now. But if you're not that person, I hope that you're not. You can really find time to appreciate this moment. So that's the only message I wanted to give you. Stay home, stay inside, stay, stay sanitized. Uh, and appreciate what you have. Appreciate that there are people out there trying to keep the world sane when things are actually going a little difficult. There are people who are working there in the call centers. There are people who are cleaning. There are people in the grocery markets, the supermarkets, and the, the security guards, the police, the, the Garda, all of them, like, appreciate them because it takes a lot to get out and tell people to just stay at home when people are just getting bored and want to create a create a chaos. There's a lot of chaos already. Let's just try not to create one ourselves. That's all I wanted to say in today's Tea Talks. I hope the message reached you quite well and I hope that you, your family, your loved ones, in fact, everyone out there is doing fine and making the best of your time. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Cheers. Now the tea could be this tea or this tea. Anything that you like. I know that's lame. I'm sorry. And stuff. Wow, it sounds really great when you say surprise runs. It almost feels like I'm in Walking Dead. <laughs>